Welcome to CourseRail. In this short video, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of how you can use CourseRail to create video sales center, video courses, video ads, or pretty much any kind of video using just your voice by repurposing a different video or an audio file, or just copy pasting some text. Now there are three ways to create different kinds of videos using CourseRail. The first one is write and create, which is where you copy paste your script or text that you have and CourseRail will convert that text into different slides, add images and videos, load up the editor, letting you customize it the way you want. The second one is where you upload an audio or a video file. Now imagine if you go for a jog, record some audio on your mobile phone and upload that audio file on CourseRail. CourseRail will extract the content of that audio file, transcribe it, convert those into different sentences, break them down, create slides, add images, video, everything on autopilot. And then you can customize the video you want. Same way, if you upload a video file, it's gonna extract the audio and do the same thing. The third and final way is to record an audio, which is where you click on this little icon, record some audio and save it. And once that is done, it's gonna convert that audio into transcription, break it into different sentences and create video for you. So it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Now, there are a few other things that you need to see. There's a product tab where you can see all the products that you have created, awaiting customization, rendering failed, rendering done, ready to download, other things. Then we have the integration tab where you can connect your Facebook, YouTube, Cyber, Script Reel, Trim Reel, Live Reel account. Then we have a support section where you can access all the training and tutorials. You don't need to worry about the billing since you are part of our LTD deal. Now let's create a video. There are three ways, like I said, let's try and copy paste, but let's try and create one by recording audio. So I'm gonna click on record audio and click on this little icon here, and then I'm gonna speak a few sentences. This is a course video creator software, which is based on cloud and I can easily speak to it and it will transcribe my voice and convert that into text, which would, it will automatically convert into a video for me. Now, since I'm done, I'm just gonna click on done. It's gonna record, save the file, upload it, and start transcribing it automatically. Right here, I'm gonna give it a name. I'm gonna pick whichever language I was using, so I'm gonna stick to US English, click on save, and that's about it. Now, it's gonna take a couple of minutes for it to start transcribing, and in about a minute or so, we can edit this just like this. It's gonna have an edit icon here, and we can edit it and start editing and creating our video. Now, as you can see, it's done with the transcription. All I have to do is click on edit up here and it's gonna take me to the editor page. Now, this is the audio that it transcribed for me. I can listen to the audio if I want it. This is a course video creator software which is based on cloud and I can easily speak to it. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. Now. What do you see since it was just one sentence, it was taken in into account as just one sentence, but you can convert it later into multiple sentences. So I'm back on the dashboard, let's create a video with more sentences. Now I'm gonna copy paste a script to create a video. So I'm gonna click on write and create, and I'm gonna give it a title, right click, paste the script that I had, so I have some simple sentences. Now, I want three, six, seven, eight, eight different sentences, eight different slides, right? So how am I gonna do that? I'm gonna click on Control and Enter at the end of every sentence. Now, it is Control and Enter for Windows and Control and Enter for Mac. It's not Command and Enter. It's always Control and Enter for any kind of device that you're using. This differentiates how many slides I want. So we're gonna have about eight slides. So I'm gonna click on create, give it a couple of minutes. The project is saved. As you can see, you can see the editor and render option. So I'm gonna to go to editor here. And as you can see, it has created all these slides for me with different videos, some with just basic color, some with have videos. And now I can go ahead and customize them the way I want. I can preview the entire video the way I want. I can put my mouse over over here and the end of each slide and I can decide how long I want the video to be, or the slide to be, I can increase it, can decrease it. Each slide can be different, right? 
I can change the text. I can add more text. I can customize the text. I can change the text color, the background. I can add different images. I can change the background color to whatever I want. I can add an image. I can even add a video. Let's say if I want to add a video about artificial intelligence, click on search real quick and just mouse over on all these videos. I can preview what the video is. And if I click on it, that video will be added on this slide. I can go back to media if I want to add a different image or something on this one. As you can see, there is some text. I'm just going to double click it and I can write whatever text I want. I can drag this text to wherever I want. I can add more text if I wanted. I can search video clips and images. Let's say and I can add that on top of this video. I can go ahead on the audio section. I can pick from all these different audio files, search from them. I can record my own voiceover, use my own voiceover, upload my own video. There are so many options. And if I want to add any music, I can just drag and drop it over here on this track. Now I can add motion animation to the text. I can add transitions, different kind of transition that you will be able to see here in between any of these slides, right? Go back to text, I can customize the text as I want, background color, text color, whatever I want. Once I'm done editing the way I want, I have full control over the editor. I'm just gonna click on render and the video will start rendering and will be ready for me to download within minutes. So it's literally that easy to create videos using Core Shell.